Alright, so this is part three of my CSS tutorial video thing about custom uh, uh, CSS and sweet CRM. And this has been really frustrating for these past three videos. Uh, so what I had to do here, starting from the beginning, um, well, I'm going to do this before I forget. Do you want to go to admin and then you want to go to uh, system? Uh, so this system right here, yours view obviously look different um, depending on what you're making your CSS or whatever. Go to system settings and you have to be an admin user to be able to view any of this otherwise you won't be able to do it. And then there is something here for developer, developer mode. Make sure you have that on. It helps clear out a lot of the cache. Uh, so to change some of the CSS what you want to do is create a new theme inside of the custom directory and then the themes directory and then I see here I made one called custom theme and I explained that in a previous video and I just copied it from one of these and the pasted it up here when I had a bunch of problems where I couldn't like I make an edit here but then I wouldn't be able to see it because I kept on loading in the theme from the default directory it kept on loading in this one and it was dropping nuts so I finally figured out what the issue was and it's really uh, something really simple and silly um, and I wouldn't have figured it out. It was just a you know, trial and error. I finally realized I was like, hey, what if I go to this themes directory and uh, I click on a different theme that's default there. Well, it switched to that and it wasn't doing it and I realized that of course, you know, I had not uncheck some of these boxes here <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. Um, so for example, you can see some of the difficulty. I'm going to uh, switch to this um, style. I'm going to click save and you're not going to see anything change. It'll refresh this page but you won't see any of the CSS change and you'll just see this enabled. So that's what I was doing and that's what was wrong. And I noticed if I click the actual link to the theme name that I have here, then it starts to apply the theme. So I'm just going to click save or whatever. Um, obviously I didn't make any changes here but I'm just saving it so that it kind of helps apply the theme a little bit. And then I'm going to click, uh, I'm just going to go to like accounts or something and you're going to see the whole theme get all fugly really fast. So here's my theme, previous one, and then ta-da, everything's broken. So then once, I, once I'm there, then I empty the browser cache and hard reload the page and reload all the resources again now I have my whole new theme. Uh, so that's how that worked. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to my old theme and then the only thing that I had another problem with was you know just making sure I saved the files I was editing. Um, so I just put like a custom CSS thing inside here and I made the background black and then inside of the head.tpl, which I have no idea what TPL stood for until now, apparently that's something for Dreamweaver. Um, you know, obviously it's just putting in HTML code and then plopping that file in somewhere else and breaking up the HTML. Well, I took the C custom CSS and I just referenced it in here. So it references all the old CSS and then this is just anything that was custom. I just imported that as well. Um, so I edited that file and then I changed this one a little bit. I just changed the name to the same name as the uh, directory of the theme I was in. And just make sure to save everything and clear out the cache. And I'm going to change back to my old theme and maybe make another change just to prove that it's working this time. Where's the themes? There's the themes. Okay, now I'm just going to select this one itself and make a default and unselect this one. I'm going to save that and then it's not going to be applied. Is it going to be applied? Okay, so yeah, so it wasn't applied. I got to click the link. Once I click the link, everything gets applied. Then if I go to one of these other things like accounts, go to another module, it'll get all fugly. It tries to load in the old theme, but it can't, and then it looks like that. So then I'm going to empty cache and hard reload. And now my new theme is finally applied. Sweet! Now let's go ahead and do something else, like 
Uh, it's easier for an example if I had something with an ID here. Yeah, pa pagination. Let's grab that. And uh, then we'll go to our custom thing I made. And pagination uh, background green. Yeah, save. Okay, I'm gonna clear that cache. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty cache here and hard reload. And then it should work, I think. Something should be green and disgusting looking pretty fast. Come on. Be green, be green, be green. It's not green. I just green. Uh, well, it did load it in the CSS, it just didn't take effect. Did I type it in wrong or something? loaded it anyway so that was successful it must be o being uh, must be overridden by something yeah it is um so it did load it, you just didn't see it on the screen because it's being overridden by something. Can I make this important? Um, uh, well, you still don't see it anyway. But it did work. So didn't see it because of something else is overriding it, but it did work, and that's how you make the new theme finally appear. Thank you for watching.